Quentin. Quentin, dear. Goodness. Do you want me to go quite mad? Lunch already? No, darling, we've only just had breakfast. Yeah. It's the post. There are one or two bills, I'm afraid, that we really are going to Bills, have... bills, my dear Francis. Do you want me to go quite mad? They like the first chapter of my book. Oh, Quentin, I can't believe it. Why can't you believe it? Do you want me to go quite mad? Well, yes. Well, we took great care. We could tell by the angle of the wreck that... Ah, that... another mathematician. Do you want me to go quite mad? Jack's written to ask if they can come for the holidays, remember? Do you want me to go quite mad? Well, we thought there might be a gold bar inside and... Gold? The gold? Yes, of course. But do you want me to go quite mad? Georgina. Daddy! This box is far too small to hold a gold bar, child. What? Well, I was just leaving. Do you want me to go quite mad? Do you know, Francis, he's given me an excellent price, more than I'll get for my book. Splendid! George! Do you want me to go quite mad? What do you think? Do you want me to go quite mad? No! Yes, the idea is to rebuild the castle and turn it into an hotel. Oh, my goodness. Uncle, that man who bought the box, is it him who wants to buy the island? Yes. Do you want me to go quite mad? I'm sorry about your poor head, sir. Pressure of work. Do you want me to go quite mad? Due to my wife's absence. Ah! Georgie! Where have you been? Do you want me to go quite mad? The Styx bandits! They're kidnappers! George, are you coming swimming? Off you go. And please, do you want me to go quite mad? For a while. <laughs> Say, you got a fine boy here. <laughs> do you want me to go quite mad? No, dear. Oh, hello, oh, oh, George, how I missed you. There you are. Do you want me to go quite mad? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, 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 Uncle. Bye, Uncle. Have a good Bye. time. Do you want me to go quite mad? In a quiet little place like Kirin. Do you want me to go quite mad? That's what do you think? I think you're right, sir. But, Uncle Quentin, we can explain. I'm sure you can. But do you want me to go quite mad? And complaints to the police about you? We didn't do anything! Thieving, trespassing... Do you want me to go quite mad? I'd really like to try that night tracking device again. Do you want me to go quite mad? No. All right, boys, you'll lead the way there. Quentin, are you game? Oh. Do you want me to go quite mad? The chap. Oh. oh. So you managed to find us. Hey, yes, of course. That's why I suggested... Uh, this... Do you want me to go quite mad? Professor Derek Terry, oh, thank you. But the fact that you haven't considered Quentin is that the densities of radiation available, the rate of stimulated emission is small compared to the rate of spontaneous emission. That may be so, Possum. But do you want me to go quite mad? By stimulated emission. Have you had that soup? Soup? Do you want me to go quite mad? Dear, I made it specially. If you don't eat it, it will soon go off. I can't quite seem to... Where did you say? It's there. Oh. Cheddar Gorge. Oh, right. You know, old Matthews lives round there. Optical guidance system. Do you want me to go quite mad? What? Now, look, lad. Do you want me to go quite mad? Timmy is, and I get lost looking for him. There are tunnels in all directions. Oh. Do you want me to go quite mad? And quickly. Everything is wired and timed to go up at 10.30. Now, will you or will you not give us those notes? I will not. Do you want me to go quite mad? No. Quentin, are you all right? Do you want me to go quite mad? The bedrooms are not habitable, Francis. Then I'm not going. Georgina, please. I can't leave Timmy. Do you want me to go quite mad? No. Can you manage to climb the hill? Do you want me to go quite mad? Walking through town in my pyjamas. Uncle, I don't like you being here all alone at night. What worries me, Anne, is that I'm not. Well, what are you going to do? You must do something. Do you want me to go quite mad?